I'm working on round 10, which will be the last round of logs before the, the plate logs go on. I'm going to show you what I do on the 10th round on B and D wall. The top plate logs will actually set over this notch. And what I like to do is to cut a two inch wide but one inch deep cut out in there. It's, a, it's a kind of like a keyway. And then when I cut the plates, I will cut a part that goes down in this. This keyway, it will lock the bottom side of the, the plate log and then the half log that goes over the B and D walls, I'll, I'll tie them into the plates and lock the top side of it so it can't slide out. So what I've done, I've come out from the shoulder here two inches and made a, a line here which is an inch down from the top surface of the upper part of the, the half dovetail. And I went ahead and took my utility knife and I scored this line right across here. And now, since I have the top notch clean, I can draw a line from here across to the inside face and score that and get ready to cut it out. I'll go ahead and score this line here with my utility knife because I like a real nice clean cut there and as I've told you before I just hide the line with my straight edge I have my saw set already to cut this and I'm just going to cut up close to this line that goes across the top of the uh, half dovetail and I'll make a series of just saw cuts through there until my saw bumps the shoulders and that'll, that's be far as I could use it. Now that's as far as I can go with the little skill saw. I'll take my carving bar and I'll make a couple three passes across here. But you got to really be careful that you don't go below your line. What I'm going to do, I've got a one inch chisel and a mallet, and I'm just going to start popping those, those pieces out that I sawed with the little skill saw and the chainsaw. I've got this cleaned out now. I can lay my straight edge on there and it's nice and flat all the way across. And also here, this is nice and clean here where the, the keyway will actually set down in this. Now the next thing and the last thing I'll have to do to this, I've scored these lines right here, the shoulder lines. And when you set the top plate logs, it's the only round that's not fit. So when I cut the plate logs and set them on here, It'll have to come right up against this, this shoulder line here, and I'll, I'll cut that with a chisel and clean that right up to this line right here on the outside and the inside, and that'll have this ready to go. Now I've got it all cleaned up. I've cut back to the shoulder lines on the inside and the outside. It's nice and flat everywhere. 
So all I've got to do is put anchor seal on this, and I still got to clean the bottom notch, but this, the upper notch is all done. Howdy y'all, I'm at Paradise Point, got a nice cool morning, had a pretty good frost this morning early, but I'm getting ready to put a wall round 10 on top here. So this will be the last full round of logs. The next round will be the plate logs and the half logs, which we've got to go cut a couple of uh, longer logs to mill out for the top plate logs. But uh, I've got round 10 ready to go, so I'm gonna get it up here on the wall. Well, got a nice fit there. And that one there looks good too. Looks good on the inside. What does it look like out there? Well, I better go down and get another one. I'm strapped on to B wall round 10. This will be the last log in round 10, and it'll be the last log of the day. It's Friday afternoon, and when I get this up on the wall and do a little checking, it'll be time to go home. Well, it sets nice and plumb, and I've got a, a good fit on the notches. All I'll have to do to that is just make some handsaw passes here between the shoulders and bring it into control. And that log's done. <laughs> 